hey guys i have the msv gts4 smartwatch and in this video i will show you how you can transfer your data from the msv zip app to the samsung health app and also the google fit app by a little simple trick with which you will be able to keep your all the data synced across all the devices so if i open my zip app which is connected with my msv gts4 smartwatch you will be able to see the step count that i am having is now 1374 and the same step count will be synced with the google fit app also which is another fitness app from google and if you are using any google smartwatches this app should be connected with those smartwatches as you can see it is 1379 and here it is showing 1374 so there will be a little bit of difference but it will be approximately same as the same data is getting synced between all of the apps and with this way you can also sync the data with the samsung health and in the samsung health before syncing the data make sure you have switched off the auto detect workouts and detection of workout via phone otherwise the data will not be synced up properly and definitely this is happening because of one simple app which is syncing the data across all the devices from google fit to samsung health to msv zip not only you can sync the step count data but with this method you can also sync the heart rate data and other vitals which are recorded via the smartwatch and other apps so let's see which app is this and how the data is getting synced this will be a sick video guys and if you are taken to sales don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos videos like this so the app which you need to search for this is the health connect and this app is available in the play store and although this app is in the beta version but it is working absolutely fine so if i click on health connect you can see there is an app from google only which is doing the trick here so now let's see how we can transfer the fitness data from the zap app to the google fit and the samsung health app so first of all if you want to transfer the data from the zap app to the samsung health app you need to download the google fit because there is no medium to transfer it directly to the samsung head but there is a medium to transfer it to google fit and then you can transfer it to other fitness tracking app once you open the zap app make sure you are giving the correct permissions to transfer the data to google fit first so you need to come to profile and here you will see that there is an option of add accounts and in the add accounts you need to connect the google fit app first by clicking on the connect option once it is connected your fitness data will be transferred to the google fit app and once you open the google fit app you will see that the fitness data is syncing with this zap app here so now we need to transfer this to the samsung health app and the same data will be transferred and for that we need to install another app from the play store and the app name is health connect beta which is an app from google which will enable you to transfer the data from the google fit to other apps and platforms so here you can see i have already installed it and once i open it i need to configure it for the first time giving the correct permissions to transfer the data from from one app to another so i have already given the access to google fit and i need to also give the access to the samsung health so here you can see i have opened the google fit app and if i want to give the access to health connect i need to just come to settings and here you will see the health connect option where i need to enable this feature with clicking on sync fit with health connect and i can also manage the data which will be synced once i have done that i need to again come to the samsung health and the samsung health app will also have the same health connect feature which i need to enable and i will get this feature obviously in the settings of the app so in the settings you will see that i have to first there is the option of health connect and once i click on that here i can give the access to samsung head so i have already given the access that's why it is not showing and here you can see the data is constantly syncing with the google fit and the samsung health and obviously the same data will be updated across all of the fitness apps and platforms so once i have given the access i can also see which of the data i want to transfer from the apps and if i want to transfer only the distance and the step count data i can just enable them and disable the other data and here i have given access to all my data and i can even erase 
or revoke the authorization or permissions so that the app data will not be synced so this is the way with which you can sync data across all of the devices and also you can sync the data from the zap app to the samsung health directly and definitely this is a way to keep all the data synced across all of the fitness apps and the smartwatches also when you are syncing the data make sure you have disability auto detect workout modes and the tracking workout via the apps option because the app data will not be accurate then so i have already disabled the auto detect workouts and other tracking options via the app so once i have done that the data will be synced accurately otherwise it will just add up the data from the app and your smartwatch so definitely that is not what we want so if i come to health connect you can also see when the data is getting synced and how much of the data is getting synced via this app so this is the best way to sync the data from the amazon switch zap app to the samsung health and hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon because i will be making more videos like this thank you guys have a great day thank you